Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome another, to another edition of the Wrestling Marks of Excellence here on Fox Sports Radio 1340 AM at 96.9 FM. I'm your host, Glenn Thomas. Always with me is the wizard himself, nephew Corey. What's going on, wizard? Hey, what's going on, man? Nothing much, man. What's going on is the greatest Royal Rumble ever. Now, my, I even have a laugh at it. We said the greatest Royal Rumble ever. All right, so if they have this again next year, will it still be the greatest Royal Rumble? Next year will be the greatest Royal Rumble ever, too. I don't think it's happening next year. I think it's a one-off. Huh. I, don't, I, I don't. I debate that. I, I think they will go back to Saudi Arabia. You know, they go to another Middle Eastern country. I don't think. Well, you know, here's the thing. It's, this, not, it's not the. It, uh, it, it's not technically. It's not the greatest Royal Rumble ever. I know. It's the greatest, it Royal, the greatest Rumble. Royal Rumble. So I know. I know. You can you can book it as that next year. So. Look at that next year, and that's what we're going to be talking about tonight, ladies and gentlemen, the Greatest Royal Rumble. I'll give you our predictions and the views on the Greatest Royal Rumble. I just a side note for some of the things that happened this week on Monday Night Raw, also happened this week on WWE SmackDown. One of the things that happened on SmackDown, we saw Shinsuke Nakamura uh, and AJ Styles in a tag team match. I had a triple, excuse me, six-man match on SmackDown with Nakamura getting the, the uh, upper hand, you could say, a little bit. Uh, in that match with Nakamura, uh, Aiden English, and Rusev getting the win there. We all saw the, also saw the debut of The Miz on the SmackDown, but did not get what you thought you were going to get. You did not get The Miz and Daniel Bryan because Daniel Bryan got attacked by Big Cass. <clears throat> in fact, mm-hmm. I personally like this wizard. I, I say this because don't give me Daniel Bryan and Miz right now. You save that for SummerSlam or you save that for WrestleMania next year. Let it be a slow burn. Don't give it to me right away. Your thoughts? I agree. At this point, yeah, you gotta you gotta let it go ahead and just simmer. Got yeah, simmer. Also, Monday Night Raw. We oh, I'm back to Monday Night, Monday Night Raw a little bit. You saw Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. Uh, Roman Reigns may be 100 percent, may not be 100 percent going into this cage match at the Greatest Royal Rumble coming in for Saudi Arabia on this Friday, starting at 12 p.m. For those who have the WWE, WWE Network, if you haven't subscribed, hey, go ahead. To me, it's like March Madness. I'm waiting for the tournament ball to drop, but I'm waiting for 12 o'clock on Friday so the greatest Royal Rumble ever, excuse me, the greatest Royal Rumble can go ahead and start. So watch that. But Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar mix it up a little bit on Monday Night Raw. Uh, it's good to see Roman Reigns being able to hold his own in the ring uh, with Brock Lesnar. Also, I'm looking forward to this match because we may have some title changes. But let's get to our predictions. Let's get to uh, some of the major things that's going to happen in this pay-per-view. Uh, there's 50, 50 men uh, in the pay-per-view, and I think we, we mentioned this prior, prior to going to the show. Uh, a lot of surprises here. There's going to be a lot of people that's coming in here, a lot of people flying over to Saudi Arabia. WWE is going to put on a good program and a good show uh, with this Royal Rumble. What are you expecting out of the Royal Rumble match itself before we get into the other matches of the card? I don't want to win her yet. Just what are you predicting or what do you expect uh, to get out of this Royal Rumble? Well, I mean, it's it's just a showcase of what WWE can do in one of their signature, you know, homegrown matches and get to show off talent. So, yeah, that, that's it's just to show that off in a, in a foreign country, so. Got you. Let's get to this card. Let's get to our seven, uh, seven title matches here uh, in the, the, uh, the greatest Royal Rumble. WWE is going to put seven title matches here to, for Saudi Arabia fans. Of course, you, there is no women on this card. A lot of people have been complaining about that. Uh, it was a day and age where you didn't have women on the card, but you, you're in a country now that don't allow women to wrestle the way they – without uh, won't let women wrestle – Showing they can, you know, it's, it's a country. That's what the country is—a male-dominated country. But they have their rules and their guidelines. And you do, as in Rome, you do as the Romans do. And I don't think the WWE is really mad. Uh, the money's still the same. There are some fans that are sad, mad about it. But there used to be a day there when I would grow up that you didn't see women on a wrestling card in any way. I understand that we're in a new day and we need a new movement uh, that we're in. It's okay for one pay-per-view out of the year not to have women. Your thoughts on this one? Yeah, I mean. The culture that's over there. I mean, what, what do you want me to do? It's a business. They still got to keep moving. So yeah, keep moving. I think people just want to argue about something. They want to complain. Yeah, they I want to complain just about want something. To talk, honestly, I, I agree with that. You know, they just, just want to complain about the fact. Oh, there's no women on the card. Well, it's okay. It's okay. Right. WWE know what they're doing. As we mentioned, it gives them time to film total divas. It gives them some of the women who've been on the road 
for 200 and some days of the year, uh, time to rest, uh, rest their body and recuperate. You know, they, some of them just came back from Africa, and, and then they had uh, WrestleMania and hadn't been home in, you know, four days in the last month. It's okay. It's okay. Let them live a lifestyle. All right? But we got a match, Cedric Alexander versus Callisto. First match, Cedric Alexander versus Callisto for the Cruiserweight title. Uh, who do you have winning here? Uh, I'll give it to Cedric. I'm giving it to Cedric. They'll let him run a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I think Cedric retains here as a Cruiserweight champion. I think he retains uh, the Cruiserweight championship here. I think him and Callisto put on a great match to showcase their talent at 205 and as Cruiserweights. But I think Cedric Alexander uh, does retain his title here. If you've been watching 205, Cedric Alexander has taken on all comers. Uh, and he's doing well as a title run. And it's good to see him to do well. And, and Hopefully, Katina have a long title run. If you think about it, the last several Cruiserweight champions have had, have had long title runs, and I don't think Cedric Alexander is uh, any different um, from the past Cruiserweight champions uh, that had long title runs as well. He's doing a good job as a Cruiserweight champion there. Uh, next title match we got going on here, uh, we got Bray Wyatt, Matt Hardy versus Cesaro and Sheamus for the Raw Tag Team Championships. I start. I start here. I think this is Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy to lose. I think it's Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy to lose. I don't see the bar uh, winning these the Raw Tag Team Titles because they're on SmackDown now. I guess if they do win, they're on SmackDown. They have to automatically go back to Raw. But I don't see them winning anyway. I see Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy winning this. And kudos to Matt Hardy for digging Bray Wyatt out of the his character out of the bottom because Bray Wyatt was on the bottom of the the bottom of the shelf there with the WWE for a minute. If you, rec- if you recall, before Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt started this whole deletion gimmick and all that feuding with each other, Bray Wyatt had, had brought the company with issues, uh, with his personal issues with the, him him and JoJo, with the wife divorced and sending letters to WWE asking for an uh, increase in alimony payment. Uh, he thought his character was getting a little bit dry with Vince McMahon. He was losing on a regular basis, but then comes Matt Hardy. Uh, with the deletion gimmick. And Bray Wyatt, kind of his WWE, in my opinion, his WWE career here has gotten re- resurrected because of the team of Matt Hardy, uh, teaming up with Matt Hardy. So I, I want to see Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy uh, win the tag team titles. Yeah, I think I think they will. I do think they will. However, it is a scenario I could see where the bar wins uh, those titles, the Raw titles, and like the Usos win the SmackDown titles or something, or not the, yeah, or Usos win them and they switch. Or, or like you said, bar goes back to Raw. I could see that. I definitely could, but I don't think it happens in this case. I, 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 I think I think Hardy and uh, Wyatt win it. Yeah, I think Hardy and Wyatt both wins that hands down. Then we go into the Bludgeon Brothers, Harper and Rowan taking on, as we mentioned, as you mentioned a few minutes ago, Jay and Jimmy Uso. Uh, Jay and Jimmy Uso will take on the Bludgeon Brothers. I know some of you guys wanted to see Naomi because she did such a great job on SmackDown the other night, and, and your mouth opened up and you drew it, but it's not going to happen here uh, on the Greatest Royal Rumble. Nonetheless, um, I think the Bludgeon Brothers retain. I don't see the Usos getting the belts back. One, I don't mm-hmm. think they need it. I don't think they need it right now. I think they already high, high, and they got a good up uh, upside to them. I think the Blunder Brothers are tough, and I think it's going to take another dominant tag team to beat the Blunder Brothers. I don't think the Usos uh, get the tag titles. That's why I was one of. The, I was really when the shakeup happened, the WWE shakeup happened. I really thought the Usos were going to Raw. Um, I thought the Usos really thought really thought the Usos in Naomi was going to Raw, but they stayed on SmackDown. I guess to continue the feud with the Bludgeon Brothers. I I like the Usos; they had a great run with the titles, but I don't see them beating the Bludgeon Brothers at this pay per view. Maybe down the road, but not this one. Bludgeon Brothers retain the tag team titles. Yeah, I think so too. I, I just don't. I don't see. I don't see a point in them losing them just yet. So, Absolutely. yeah, no point. And we, and here is the uh, – we're going to stay away from the championship matches right now, go to another match, uh, which is not a championship match, but does have a big impact, uh, in my opinion, uh, in the WWE, which is John Cena taking on Triple H. 
uh, in a singles match here, two biggest stars in the company right now, 16-time world heavyweight champion, a 14-time world heavyweight champion, uh, getting it on in front of the Saudi Arabia crowd, a sold-out Saudi Arabia crowd, John Cena versus the Triple H. Either way, you can't go wrong with this match. If under Triple H wins, the authority just gets one up. If John Cena wins, he breaks his losing streak because he's on a losing streak uh, for the last couple months, fighting leading into WrestleMania and also at WrestleMania where he lost to The Undertaker. And some are calling it a squash match. Nonetheless, he lost. Uh, he's a, so he's on a losing streak. Um, we won't see Cena here at the States for a while, maybe. Um, do you see him going to Saudi Arabia and getting a W? Or do you see Triple H getting the win here and moving a storyline on as well? You know, it's hard to pick just because it, there's no benefit in either one winning. Um, I mean, for all, for all this, you might as well let Triple H win. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, but because of where they're at, and they're probably going to try to really push strong sales over there or whatever they're over there for. I'm going to pick Cena. I'm going to pick Cena for the win. Uh, I, you know, no, no, maybe, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, there's no real reason for either one to win, like I said. So this match is really just for the fans to see John Cena and Triple H over there. Um, give it to Cena. Yeah, give it to Cena. Yeah, go ahead. John Cena. Yeah, I think this would be a feel good moment for the fans since Saudi Arabia. I think them to see John Cena, whatever color he decides to wear on Friday, whether it's purple, whether it's green, whether it's red, whatever, whatever color he decides to wear, it will be a number one merch seller merchandise over there. And he wants to make the fans a little bit happy. I don't see Cena actually losing. Uh, this match against Triple H. Uh, as you mentioned, Triple H has nothing to gain. Cena has nothing to gain neither because he's going to be gone for United States television as well. I mean, you know, we can watch this on the network. And Triple H is no, is, is not, he's going to be gone as well. You know, you never going to see both these, neither, not going to see either one of these guys on Monday Night Raw next week <laughs> or right. SmackDown next week. So it has no, has no problem. But like I said, I think John Cena wins this just for the feel good, feel good moment, one of the feel good moments of the night. Uh, they probably won't be saying anything about Nikki Bella. So this is his first time, his first WWE event since the breakup uh, with Nikki Bella, which is, for him, in my opinion, and if you don't like what I say, go ahead and just tweet me at Glenfather725. I think the best thing happens that his first appearance uh, back with the WWE is in another country, also with no women on the roster, even though it wasn't his fault. You got number of men in the minute number of men in the locker room. And it's just my opinion. You know, in, in the States if you, if he did, he if John Cena this match was in Chicago or Philadelphia or New York and he's coming back after him and Nikki Bella's break up, even though he probably it wasn't his fault, whoever fault it was, the fans were gonna let him have it. I don't think the Saudi Arabia fans are gonna let John Cena have it because of the breakup. Right. Maybe yeah, so. right. he'll be all right, my opinion. Next match was this match was, you know, match was Undertaker versus Rusev, then Undertaker versus Chris Jericho. Now it's back to Undertaker versus Rusev. Lana got involved. Michelle McCool got involved. Uh, everybody's calling he's mad because this guy called him an old man. Uh, Chris Jericho got into it, was in, in the match, now out of the match. Now we know we have it finally set. Rusev is taking on The Undertaker Friday at 12 p.m. for the greatest Royal Rumble with it, your thoughts on this, and who do you have? Um, I just think it was all for publicity and all for, you know, just interest to get more people to watch that uh, pay-per-view. I'm just saying, when this is not even a discussion. Taker's winning that. Come on. Yeah, I, I just figured I'd throw that out there. Taker's winning this first casting match in, 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 a, in a while. Uh, I believe it's 10 years, first casting match in 10 years. Uh, this is this is Taker's match to win. There's no way in the world. Uh, I guess Friday will be the last day for Rusev Day because if you bury him or put him in a casket, isn't Rusev Day over if he's technically supposed to be dead? Just it check it. It it not, I'm, it I'm just running. Running with it. Rusev Day, either way, will be in uh, Saudi Arabia. Rusev Day. John Undertaker gets the win over Rusev, hands down. 
U.S. title match next. We have Jeff Hardy versus Jinder Mahal. U.S. title. We know that Jeff Hardy now is on SmackDown. Jinder Mahal is on Monday Night Raw. We know that when Jinder Mahal came over from SmackDown to Raw in the WWE shakeup, his first match was against Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy won the U.S. title that night. So now they are facing each other for the U.S. title again. This match here depends, and I'm gonna say it depends on what match happens. Um, I'm going to say Jeff Hardy retains this. Jeff Hardy retains this, and Jinder Mahal, uh, you know, continues to find a spot on Monday Night Raw wherever he fits in. But Jeff Hardy uh, keeps the U.S. title and stays on Smack and keep it on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Just because SmackDown needs the other title, IC titles not going over. To, IC titles not going over to SmackDown, so the, both titles, the US and the IC title, has to be separated. I think this is like the Undertaker, Undertaker's match. This is a no-brainer. Jeff Hardy wins this and retains the US title. I'm going to go the other way I, for 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 sake of argument and you know just some put this thought in your head and just confuse you a little bit. And it'll jump into something else, so I'll take it there. I think Jinder Mahal wins, and I think uh, I think The Miz wins. And the reason why I think they switch belts that way, and the Intercontinental Belt goes to SmackDown, and the U.S. title comes back to Raw. I I had that thought at first. And if you, I'm if just you throwing go back it out there. To... Just, I'm, th- I'm just throwing it. Just for the record, I'm picking Jeff Hardy and I'm picking Seth Rollins to retain. However, I'm going to throw that out there. Yeah, and you make surprised. a val- you make a valid you make a valid argument, and it, and it is a very very valid argument that this could possibly happen uh, because mm-hmm. uh, you know the the match is mixed up between both competitors from both shows. Um, mm-hmm. The Miz, who we know has brought a lot of notoriety, notoriety and, and prestige back to the IC title, um, and for him to have it on um, SmackDown could mean a lot. And for Jinder to be that heel he was on Raw uh, back on SmackDown, I mean, I mean, when he was on SmackDown back on Raw could bring uh, a little bit more, uh, give him a place or a foothold uh, to be there. On Monday Night Raw, I don't think he has that foothold right now to be on Raw because if he's not fighting for a title, he's not in the IC picture right now. Currently, he's not in, and I think being on Raw, Gender has really gone down the list in the Universal Championship picture. You know, he's he's down, he's way down that list on Monday Night Raw. I don't think he's up there at all uh, within the five, top five or six. I can name five or six guys before Gender Mahal who get a shot with Brock Lesnar. Um, so we don't, I don't see him in that list. IC title run for him, or having the U.S. title on Monday Night Raw would benefit Jinder Mahal uh, more than anybody else. Uh, mm-hmm. But I can see, I can see your point. I can see your point there that it could happen. But as you mentioned, you're going for uh, Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the Miz with the IC title on SmackDown would be great. Yeah, you have yeah, me thinking. I, yeah. yeah, I'm still gonna keep my scenario out there. Yeah, you got you got me got me thinking. It got me thinking. And since we're talking about it, uh, let's go to this IC, which I think will be the match of the night, in my opinion, uh, will be the the ladder match. The ladder match for the Intercontinental Championship: uh, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Samoa Joe taking on, uh, and then, excuse me, in the mid for the IC title in this ladder match. I know you mentioned that you you know you gave us a pick that you think Seth Rollins wins this. Mm-hmm. Somewhere in the back of my mind, I don't have the Miz, but somewhere in my mind, I got I, Joe. I know who you're thinking of. Yeah, and, and I, I thought got about Joe him, winning this. I thought about him too, and the only reason why I said Miz is because he mentioned it on Tuesday. But I can I, I can see Joe too. I, I I forgot to mention that. I can see Joe. I'll put it this way. It, it's it's more than likely because it's a lot of faces that are champions right now. It's more than likely, more than likely, one of those one of those two heels comes out as champion. I don't think Seth. I don't think Seth. Uh, I don't think it'll be that big of a hit if Seth loses the belt. I'm just gonna pick him. I don't think it's really that big of a hit if he loses. 
No. No, I, I don't think. And, and I, I had to say, Joe, because they, I think they want to give Joe something. I mean, the, they the show, we got good skip faithy, and, you know, if he stays healthy. And, and I know somebody's out there listening, but Roman Reigns is going to win. There's going to be Samoa Joe and Roman Reigns at, at, at backlash. But are we really sure? And right. I'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, I'll get to that in a minute. But I can see Jamoa Joe getting the IC title and, 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 and being that workhorse on the – and had Samoa Joe and Seth Rollins, uh, Samoa Joe and Finn Balor uh, going at it. Samoa Joe and anybody because I don't think Joe Joe has that – he's that type of wrestle, his character, that type. It doesn't matter who he goes against. Um, I can see Joe climbing up there and getting the W. Uh, but I can also – and as I mentioned – Last segment, I can also see the Miz getting it. Those two are my two favorites to get it, either Samoa Joe or the Miz. I don't think Seth Rollins uh, will retain. I think Seth Rollins and Finn Balor could have a feud and it not be for the IC title, and everybody's fine. Yeah, and and people, people, people will really be happy, happy with it. People will be happy with that. But I'm going to go ahead and say uh, Samoa Joe. I want Samoa Joe to win the uh, IC title ladder match. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so then we go ahead and we move on to Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, Steel Cage match, Universal Championship. That's interesting. You're not going to go AJ Shinsuke before that? Nope, because I think AJ Shinsuke shuts the house down. Okay, fair enough. My fault. Go ahead. Carry on. I I believe AJ. I did that on purpose to see if you catch it. And I, and, and, and I really think AJ Shinsuke will be the main event here. Um, Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns got demolished at WrestleMania. They're putting him in a cage now with Brock Lesnar. Does Roman get does Roman get destroyed again? And if he does get destroyed again, can he can it take? First of all, I, I don't think Roman Reigns get booed in Saudi Arabia. Let me say that. Yeah, won't won't. I don't think he gets the booze that in Saudi Arabia that people think he's going to get. I don't think that happens. Um, I think since Roman Reigns comes out, there's a bunch of cheers, and the fans will actually appreciate uh, Roman Reigns. If he gets booed, then we know that it's the culture of the people just to boo him to boo him, not because he is – he definitely is popular. He definitely is a good wrestler. Uh, Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, I think this one here could go either way. I'm still 50-50. I wouldn't be surprised this one is called in the ring. I wouldn't be surprised if, if, based off the fan reaction, how it proceeds. I, I can go with Brock winning, and, and he'd be the universal champion, and you still have Roman Reigns and Samoa Joe at Backlash, and it'd just be for nothing. Right. Um, the grudge, grudge match, because that was a storyline before Joe really got injured. Um, so we could continue that on uh, that we had in the fall of last year. And, we, and Brock can go wherever he needs to go with the universal championship and come back closer to the next pay-per-view he will come back for, which will probably be SummerSlam, and everybody will be fine. I can also see Roman Reigns getting this, uh, getting the Universal Championship, and Brock Lesnar being off TV for a while and going to get himself in shape and train and hopefully come back to the UFC sometime this summer in July after he serves his suspension. I uh, wish you would look at it. Just me. So I can see that way I'm going to go with I don't have any belt changing hands yet in my prediction. I think this is be the first one to change hands. I'm gonna go with Roman Reigns winning the Universal Title. Yeah, I just I, it's, if Brock, if it wasn't so, how do I want to put it? If it wasn't so. Uh, I think if we didn't know Brock resigned, I I, I feel like Roman hands down would be winning it. <laughs> I I don't know why, but I feel like I feel like Brock could win this. I don't know what it is because everything in the world is telling me, yo, pro pro Roman crowd over there in the sense of his, it. it they're not going to boo like the Americans. They're not. Everything is telling me Roman. I'm going Roman. No, I, I'm gonna just. I'm. I'm gonna go Roman. I'm gonna go Roman Reigns wins it. Brock Lesnar's gone for the majority of the summer. 
because there's no real reason the world have really have him there right until I put some slam anyway. Roman wins it. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deviate and and create a scenario of more, something more. Roman wins it. Go ahead. All right, and then the main event, which I think is the main event of the evening. I know I've, I've switched this for WrestleMania. I had Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns being the main event, and Shinsuke and uh, AJ being the co-main event. But I switched them here for this Greatest Royal Rumble uh, pay-per-view or uh, network special, whatever you want to call it, because I think this has a better storyline. I think this has the better. Uh, this is what the fans want to see. I think this is where over in. Um, Another country you put on you save the best wrestling match wrestling match for last and I and I and I know there's still the Royal Rumble we haven't even talked about yet but I think the individual wrestling match uh, it has to be last here and I think AJ Styles uh, and that's another reason I gave it the next the, the main event because the 50 man pay per view is going to be the very last match there's no way they switch it like they did for the regular Royal Rumble because there's no women's Royal Rumble. The 50-man pay-per-view, 50-man Royal Rumble will be the last, very last match, so it's technically the main event. Um, but AJ and Nakamura will be right before this match, before the 50-man Royal Rumble. I think Nakamura wins it here. I, I, think I do, Shins- too. I think do this, too. So you Shinsuke I do comes too. home. Shinsuke comes back to the United States as the new SmackDown champion. Um, I love it because he didn't get it at WrestleMania. Okay, he didn't get his WrestleMania moment. Cool. And I'm fine with him not getting his WrestleMania moment because he had this Royal Rumble moment. moment. He had his moment at the Royal Rumble. He won, he won the Royal Rumble. And I'm fine with AJ, AJ getting another win at WrestleMania. You know, he lost the very first WrestleMania when him and Chris Jericho uh, went on. He got the win over Shane McMahon, and then he got now he got the win over Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke turns, and so Shane, so he got his he got his WrestleMania moments. Um, but I think here you get a better uh, fit if you get Nakamura as champion. One, I love the work that he's doing now as being a heel on SmackDown. I, I, I give a shout out to um, thanks for Brian Waters uh, shouting us out on Breaking Down with Brian H, uh, you, which you can hear on wherever social media, YouTube, Podbean, uh, Twitter, all the social media channels. Check it out. He gave props to the Wizards for saying, you know. That they need to change his music, and I think we talked about that the night coming from WrestleMania, going back to the hotel. Mm-hmm. They, he's healed now. He need they needed to change it. And I like what they did with his music and how they changed it, uh, and mm-hmm. with him being a champion now, it fits. It will fit for him. He will be instant heel. Let the heel win. Yeah. Instant heel in the company. SmackDown will change. The two top workers, the two top people, will be healed over there. The Miz as well as Shinsuke Nakamura, does never have to do an interview as a champion. I speak no English. Let it ride. Yeah, I think I think, I think Shinsuke, you've got to have one or two title changes over there uh, for it to be special for for what is going on over there. I think you got to. When the network is being pushed as a real pay-per-view, uh, I, I think you got to have one or two. And I think what it is, one of, if not both, of the top championships will change, you know. One of one of them at least has to to give something, give them a reason to keep watching over there, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I absolutely think Nakamura gets that championship. Yeah, I definitely think he gets the championship, and I think he has a a decent title run with the championship. I think it'll be very well uh, with him. I think it's very fitting. I, don't know if anybody can do it. I would love to see him get a manager just so he wouldn't have to speak. Mm, yeah, so he, I don't he, think we but I don't think nobody though. I don't just something I don't think they have anybody that would be able to be a, a decent mouthpiece for him. Um so he wouldn't have to speak no English unless he really wanted to. I don't think they you know, the day and ages of Gary Hart and God bless his soul, uh, Paul Jones are over. You know, those guys would usually take those characters who did not speak as much uh, for those of you wrestling, wrestling historians out there. Um, so, that being said, we move to the greatest Royal Rumble, 50-man Royal Rumble. 50-man Royal Royal Rumble. Uh, going to be a lot of surprises. I know people are looking at spoilers. I don't care about the spoilers and all that. Just know there are going to be a lot of surprises. 
uh, 50 men on the WWE roster that there, some who's already wrestled throughout the night, uh, will also be in, included into the Royal Rumble. With all, with all that being said, the build up for the Royal Rumble, Wizard, who wins this 50 man Royal Rumble? And it really, if it's really a prestigious thing to win this, because you're not getting a title shot anywhere. It, 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 it's no no trophy. You just become the first person to win the greatest Royal Rumble. Who wins? Part of me, honestly, part of me wants to say it's going to be Daniel Bryan. I just don't think so. I honestly, I'm going to go Braun Strowman. I just, I just feel like they're going to eat that up over there. I'm going to go Braun Strowman. That's my pick. Okay. Okay. And that's not, a, that's not a, that's definitely not a bad pick. Braun Strowman is not a bad pick whatsoever uh, on that to be to win the greatest Royal Rumble. I I like you um, myself just like you were. I had Daniel Bryan. I wanted Daniel Bryan because he didn't win the Royal Rumble here in the United States. He you know he got screwed out a couple of Royal Rumbles. Uh, I'm like man, what a great place for Daniel Bryan to come back and win the greatest Royal Rumble. I don't think the company is really set on Daniel Bryan unless he's number 50 or 49. Mm-hmm. I don't see him being in this Royal Rumble that long. I agree. I, I, I don't I, I don't see him, you know, running the gamut. If you wanted him to win, you put him in at, like, number 20 and let him run, you know, through the 30 or 25 or 30, 35 and let him run the gamut um, all the way through. Um, I don't see that happening because you want to build a story up with him and there's so many guys that that could win it, and and, and I'm gonna take into I'm gonna take in consideration since the fact there's no title shot on the line, there's no guarantee you're going to WrestleMania that it won't be a top main eventer who wins this. Um, yeah, I, I, I can I can see, and and people may argue I can see a Drew McIntyre winning, and he's not a top main eventer yet. I, I can see a Bobby Roode winning this. And he's semi. He's not top man of winner yet. I think this is not. Royal Rumble takes people to the next level. And I I want to go ahead, and I said my pick uh, a few seconds ago. I think Bobby Roode wins this. Ooh, anyway. Bobby Roode. I think, Bo- I think Bobby Roode wins the greatest Royal Rumble. I think the company's high on him. I think they like him. And what better to close the show out by having a glorious day with Bobby Roode winning the greatest Royal Rumble? Bobby Roode. That's interesting, man. Bobby Roode. Okay. Got Bobby Bobby Roode winning. Glorious. Just give it to him. I think they're higher on this guy, and I think he is – he can be the future. Um, let's, let's put on Bobby Root. I don't think I think we see the and I think we see some of the, the older guys, Big Show and those guys. But I think Bobby Root gets it. Uh, I think there'll be a great some great spot being by Kofi Kingston and Shelton Benjamin, and then, you know great spots with Kofi and Shelton at the greatest Royal Rumble. So we we would like to see anything. They might stand on each other's shoulders on top of the chair to get in the ring. You know. And not be yeah, eliminated. Right. So we'll see that. But hey, nonetheless, it will be Friday, Friday at 12 p.m. The greatest Royal Rumble WWE Network. Check it out. It's, if it is six hours worth of wrestling, I will sit there and watch all six hours. Not complaining about wrestling whatsoever. It is wrestling. Right. It's, it's coming from Saudi Arabia. These guys say, oh, oh, it's six hours. Guess what? I just sat at a WrestleMania. It was five and a half hours and some change. What's another 30 minutes? Pretty much. What is another? What is another thirty minutes to watch wrestling? Let's. If you're a wrestling fan, you'll sit there and you embrace it. You love it. If you happen to fall asleep, guess what? That's what the network is for. You can go back and get it. It's not like you're losing thirty nine ninety nine for a pay per view. Uh, that just comes on us. Right. They don't That's have a, what I'm saying. Like you're getting this stuff with your subscription now. They're not even trying to sus- bait you into buying another pay per view. So right. You get it with subscription. Subscription. If you're at work, guess what? When you get off of work, your Friday evening. 
If you ain't going, if you're not going to see the Avengers, <laughs> just watch the Greatest Royal Rumble. Stay off your, stay off your social media, stay off your Twitter, stay off your Facebook if you don't want to find out who won. I one think this is a prelude to WWE doing a WrestleMania or a SummerSlam overseas. They're going to look at these numbers and see how it pans out and see, you know what, we got a lot of viewers at 12 o'clock. And guess what? It was a Friday and people were still at work and they really watched this pay-per-view. So why not let's do a SummerSlam on a Sunday afternoon in the U.K. and show that bad boy at 3 o'clock here in the United States. And we do it at 9 o'clock over there in the U.K. or 8 o'clock in the U.K. I, I, I think this is just a test. And we're not far from having a another SummerSlam in the UK or having a WrestleMania overseas. Yeah, I mean, at this point, they, I mean, they this was already planned. It was already in the works. So it's going to come off fine. Definitely going to come off fine. What was it? Hey, those are predictions. Uh, take us home. Hey, if you're not confirmed, consider yourself denied. End of story, ladies and gentlemen. Good night. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Check us on YouTube as well as iTunes and Google Play. Catch you next week. Yep.